Learning some simple online dating safety tips can go a long way. For one thing, it will keep you from having to press this button. That's exactly what we didn't want. I'm Lucas Sowen, and welcome to OnlineDatingSitesAndServices.com. Online dating has become huge. A lot of people are doing it. But it's very important to practice some safety measures if and when you decide to join an online dating site. First and foremost, if you start communicating with someone online, make sure you keep it anonymous at the start. Basically, that means do not give away any of your personal information for for example your email address or your phone number or your home address or credit card information any kind of personal information when you basically start communicating with someone online keep that all to yourself and obviously do not give any of that information away and obviously if you reach a point where you feel comfortable with this member you can um, give away some of your contact information at that point if you want to. Uh, also, when you create your username or your profile title or your profile essay, um, avoid including any personal information in that. Um, avoid including your email address in your username or um, some kind of personal contact information in your profile essay. If you've been communicating with someone on the website, on the dating site for for a while, you've been going back and forth and you are enjoying um, in, um, communicating with this person and at some point um, if this member asks you for money, do all you can not to send them money. If they are asking you for money, there's a very good chance that they are a scammer and basically it starts with a very small amount and it increases over time. Usually they will ask you for this money basically by telling you perhaps there's some emergency that's come about in their family or they ran into some financial hard times and they need some help. They're hoping that you empathize with them and send them money. Again, do everything in your power not to send them money because the moment you do, they're gonna request for more money down the line and before you know it, You've sent them hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars or whatever currency you have in your country. And uh, these people, at the moment they ask for money, instantly see that as a red flag and instantly stop communicating with this member. Also, if you receive any messages um, basically directing you to an email address or directing you to a different website, if, if this is the first message, it's usually the first message. If, if, if this is the first message you're getting from this member, avoid sending any kind of email to this person through your own personal email. Avoid sending any email period to this member. Um, if you send an email to this member through your own personal email, which is what they want you to do, they will have access to your email address and they will begin to spam you. Also, if you visit a website that they're directing you to, even if you don't do anything on this website, even if you're on this website for just a few minutes and you leave, um, basically some of these websites are able to attach a cookie to your browser, which basically means that whenever you get online again or you get on a website that you're given some of your personal information to, maybe your credit card information or some kind of personal information, they'll be able to track you and actually gain access to that information. Um, so avoid sending any emails through your own personal email to anyone that has sent you an email in the first message to you or um, is directing you to a different website. Also, if you receive messages from members 
who have a lot of grammatical errors or spelling errors in their messages to you, typically that's a really bad sign. Um, they'll typically give you the impression that they live in your city or in your town or nearby. Usually these people don't. They are someplace in the world and they're hoping that by communicating with you, eventually they'll be able to scam you. So. Uh, be aware of this if you receive a lot of messages from members who have grammatical or spelling errors or from a member that has grammatical or spe spelling errors, avoid this member at all costs. If you choose to join a dating site and you get on the credit card information page, make sure that you're on a secure page. The best way to tell is to look up in the URL address and look for HTTPS. The S in the end stands for secure sockets layer and basically that means that you're on an encrypted page that means no one can track you to that page and no one can see what you're doing on that page because it's all encrypted now all of the dating sites that I review on on this website have secure credit card pages however if you choose to join uh, the dating site that I don't review on this website always look up at the URL address when you get on the credit card information page and make sure it says HTTPS in the address. Also, if you choose to uh, access your, uh, the dating site that you're a member of through a public computer, maybe in a library or maybe in some internet cafe or someone else's home, just a computer that does not belong to you, um, try to not auto sign into your account because if you auto sign into your account that means that when you leave that computer whoever else gets on that computer can actually auto sign into your account and basically gain access to all of your information your credit card information home address all the personal information that you have on that dating site they can actually gain access to that because they were able to auto sign so avoid doing this and just try to do it manually every time you get on a computer that's not yours and that's not your personal computer obviously you you want to make sure you don't auto sign just type it in manually your username and your password just type it in manually again if you come across any of the scenarios I've just I've just described always let the dating site know because if you're on a good dating site a reputable dating site they will immediately remove that suspicious profile from the dating site which basically saves you and keeps you safe and also helps the other members who are good members genuine members from being scammed by the few who are trying to scam them so always report it to the dating site whenever you receive suspicious messages like this or come across suspicious profiles now if everything's gone well and you've been communicating with someone online and you intend to meet outside of the dating site always meet at a public place obviously let a friend know <clears throat> or a family member know that uh, where you're going to be but also make sure you take yourself to the location don't have them come and pick you up at your home or pick you up at uh, your workplace or some place you go to all the time take yourself to wherever it is you're going to meet also have your personal items around you at all times do not leave a drink or your cell phone or your some kind of personal item your handbag your wallet anything of yours unattended while you're away because perhaps you might decide to you know go away and uh, answer a phone call you just got from someone or you might need to use the bathroom if you have to leave at any moment um, always keep your personal items with you it's uh, it's all really common sense stuff um, if you practice these safety measures you should have a good and secure online dating experience always understand that you need to practice safety first and online dating is a great way to meet new people have encounters even meet that special someone but always always practice safety first I'm Lucas Owen